Okay, now we're going to be putting in the floor on this level right here. And uh, the floor we're going to use is a composite floor. The precast floors would be excessive in the case of this building because uh, you have a couple problems. One of them being that they are heavy and you have to use a crane to get them in. So you could do them in this section of the building easily. But in this section right here, you'd have to take out all this upper structure right here to be able, that's for the roof, to be able to get them down inside. So that's not going to be possible. So they're going to use the cast in place uh, technique of a composite floor. Now, we're going to go to the architecture tab and I'm going to click on floor. And once I click on the floor, I'm going to uh, where it says next to level, it says top of footing. I'm going to click on that and click select down. And I'm going to change that to second floor and hit apply. Now I'm going to actually go to the second floor uh, floor plan and take a look at this. And I'm going to use the pick walls tool, which is this one right here. And I'm going to select the uh, north wall, the west wall, the south wall, and the east wall. And this line here and this line here is not connected, just like this one here and this one here is not connected. So I'll use my trim extend tool to connect those lines Okay, now up here in properties, I'm gonna click down. And what I wanna do is I wanna select lightweight concrete on metal deck for my flooring. And now what I should be able to do is green check mark. And when I get this message, it says, would you like walls to go up to this floor's level to attach to its bottom? Say no to that. And then the roof, floor slash roof overlaps and the highlighted walls. Would you like to join the geometry? We're going to say yes to that one. And we're going to take a look at this 3D wise. And what you're going to notice is that where we just put in the floor, and I'll just, it goes on back in here, but I'm just going to talk about it up here because it's easier to see. We have the floor uh, is at the same level, the top of it, as is the beams and girders. And what we want is we don't want that to be the case. So I'm going to actually uh, temporarily hide this wall, hide in view, that element, and we'll take a look at it from this uh, front view right here, and we'll zoom in, and you'll see that that floor is right there. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to change the... Uh, front view here, and I'm going to change the offset to 4.125 inches, 4.125 inches. Now, there's a reason, oops, that was four and a half feet, that wasn't quite right. 4.125 inches, I had to put in the inches mark, there we go, and I'll hit apply, and now you can see that that floor just moved up above the beam. And if I go back to my view of it right here and click off, you'll see now that the floor is above the uh, top of the beams. Now, next thing, <clears throat> excuse me, what we have to do is uh, actually, you know, what I'll do is, is I'll turn back on the uh walls there let me see i'm going to take a pause here okay so i want to turn this wall back on and how i'll do that is i'll go to the little light bulb thing i'm going to click on that wall because that's the thing that's been hidden and i'll hit unhide and then i'll close this out and my wall is back now on the curtain wall that we just put here the glass and this other uh, cement wall or cement on brick. 
what we got to do is we got to change our base offset by that same 4.125 inches. 4.125 inches. And I'll show you where the 4.125 inches comes to. Oh, I did the 4.15 feet again. 4.125 inches. There we go. That time it'll work. And same thing with these windows, by the way. So I have to select the, uh, the entirety of that window and change that to 4.125 inches. I remember that time. There we go. And now you can see the, you see the framing uh, reappear. And I'll get the second window in. 4.125 inches. Apply. And I'm going to get this error message. And I'm just going to say remove constraints. That's not a problem. And the last one. 4.125 inches. And I'll select apply again. Now, where did I get 4.125 inches? Well, Let's see if I can do this nice and easy. If I choose floor and I hit the concrete metal on deck and do edit type here, what you'll see is the fault thickness, four and an eighth. So that is where the 4.125 inches is coming from. That is that value that we uh, have been using. I'm green check mark and I'm going to quit sketching. I don't know why I had to do that there, but I did. And that is the end of floors.